Hey, this is a demo video for a customer that wishes to remain private. So we're just going to jump right into the Sabre. Um, this is kind of like a customized Ardent. Uh, it's got a two button setup. So you got your main switch, the big one right here. And then 180 degrees from it, I put this tactile switch for auxiliary. Um, it does have stock V3 MPXLs in here with the lens over them and, and the holder that it comes with. So I got all that in there. Um, blade retention is this guy right here. And then uh, on this guy, this fake glass eye from a Graflex, it was kind of sticking in the blade socket a little bit. So I just took it out, shaved it down, put it back, no big deal. Everything's good to go there. Uh, now the customer did request a removable chassis for this. So what you want to do is just open it from the pommel. This will come off and you'll see your chassis sticking about, it'll stick out about that much. So you can just grab that guy and pull it right out. And then what you've got here is a CFX board, removable battery setup, spring side your negative, uh, smuggler's outpost switch pixel PCB set is what we use for this. And then this has a 24 millimeter speaker in it. And that speaker is recessed down into this chassis. If you can see that down past the chassis part so that this pummel can push up against this guy and push everything forward and you don't get any sound distortion. Uh, so that's what's going on there. Now on the Sabre, you can break it down one more time because, um, you know, the handle comes off. So what we want to do, if you ever want to get to it, there's really no need to with the, this chassis, but you can unscrew this handle. And then here are your, uh, here's the smuggler's outpost, switch pixel set with the 14 pins in it. And then that stays in its own holder right there and everything's good to go. But for this chassis, you probably just want to leave this guy screwed on. So we'll screw this on, put it off to the side, and we'll throw a battery in this guy. Now, this guy has all of his own sound fonts. He likes to customize things his own way. So I think I just threw like a font on here to demo, and then all the stock fonts are on there. Uh, also, the uh, CFX is wired USB side up uh, because they like to get to their USB more than the SD card. So that's something that I did here that I don't usually do. Uh, we'll throw a battery in this guy. You hear that noise? That's a good thing. Any way you want to, just throw this right in and it goes right in. And then take your pommel right over that piece and screw it right on. Now you're not going to feel these pins engage until about the last like thread or so. You'll feel it get a little tight. Go ahead and tighten it all the way down. It's engaging those pins. So I'm going to wake the board up. Activation. These are lighting up like they should. A smooth swing, auxiliary back here. Hold it down for blade lock up. And we'll turn it off and we'll throw a blade in it. This guy takes a one inch diameter blade as well. Now your retention screw for your blade um, is kind of tight, but you can get it. Usually I put it in my kill key like this and I can twist it pretty easily, but this one I had to I had to put it in the other way, like that, long side out, so that I could get a little bit more crank on it, but it's no big deal. Locks the blade down good. Wake the board up. Tap for blaster bolt deflex. Hold down for blade lock up. Now, I just set this up to where I could do this and switch and change colors just to show you that the colors are working so if we want a green so now we got a green again going through some different effects just to uh, just to show that it works right this is a pretty much a solid color, but it's got that trace on it when it ignites and retracts. You can see that. Just like that. And then we'll take the blade out of this guy too and go over taking the battery out real quick, which is super easy.
Oops. So, so again, we'll come over here from the pommel. I don't suggest unscrewing the handle and uh, and screwing the handle back on for this type of chassis. I think it's best to do it from the pommel side so you don't stress these pins. But you just take your pommel off and your chassis is right here and you can pull it right out. It's super easy. And then from the uh, positive side by your speaker, you can pull it out with your finger just like that. I do have a piece of art tape around here uh, just to hold the board in place. Uh, the, the board is a snap fit down, but I went ahead and threw that on there anyway just just for safe measure. And so if you decide to pop this guy up, which you will do to get to your SD card, um, put some art tape on there just to uh, be safe, right? So we'll pop this back in and throw the pommel on. And that's pretty much it. So uh, let me know if you got any questions. If not, we'll try to get this out in the mail to you tomorrow. Thanks.